Hello, this is a cytospin preparation from a plural fluid sample and we're looking at the air-dried smear and uh, this is using the hemocolor stain. So at low power, we can pick up these very round cell balls or cell clusters and as we move on to higher power, we can note that the borders of these cell clusters are very, very smooth. This is known as community borders, and this is opposed to scalloped borders, where you can sort of see individual cells poking out in a scalloped kind of an outline. Scalloped borders are more associated with mesothelial cells. However, this is not a hard and fast rule. Sometimes they can be seen in epithelial cells as well. When we see smooth community borders, we are usually a little bit worried because they are often seen in metastatic carcinoma. The other thing that is worrying about this cell cluster is the number of cells. Usually in reactive mesothelial cells, in plural fluid samples, we don't see very large clusters of cells. So if you see cell clusters with 50 or more nuclei, we should be concerned about malignancy. And this includes metastatic carcinoma as well as mesothelioma. Now, it's quite difficult to actually make out the individual cells. Um, if we look at the nuclei, we can appreciate that they appear quite hyperchromatic and um, there's quite high NC ratios because there's not a lot of space between individual nuclei. In the background, we see mostly macrophages, some leukocytes, and we don't readily appreciate reactive mesothelial cells. Let's have a look at the alcohol fixed smear. A similar pattern is seen in the alcohol fixed smear with these very, very rounded cell clusters. Sometimes these are also known as cannonball cell clusters because of the smooth outlines and the rounded shape. Uh, we can actually appreciate a mitotic figure here. So looking at the individual cells, uh, the nuclei, uh, they feature quite prominent nucleoli. They're quite small, but they're prominent. and there is some uh, moderate degree of variation in nuclear size. The nuclear membranes are relatively round in some cells, but a little bit more irregular in other cells. And the cytoplasm is scanned to moderate. We can see in some areas that the cytoplasm is actually quite vacuolated. And in this cell uh, cluster, the nuclei are really quite prominent. Here is another cell cluster where you can see that the nuclear chromatin is actually quite coarse. And again, we appreciate slightly irregular nuclear membranes. Let's have a look at the cell block. In the cell block, this is an H and E stained section. And again, we can see similar cell clusters. The nucleoli are variably prominent. The, the nuclei are moderately pleomorphic and cytoplasm ranges from dense to vacuolated. So this appearance with the very rounded cell clusters that resemble cannonballs and uh, with many nuclei within each cluster, this is very suspicious for metastatic carcinoma. And in particular, the cannonball appearance would always make us worry about breast carcinoma. So the next step would be to find out the history. And indeed, this patient does have a history of breast carcinoma. And of course, we would also be considering other adenocarcinomas, including lung and gastrointestinal tract, for example, if there is no history. So with this particular patient, we would want to do uh, some immunohistochemistry. And this is GATA3, which is an immunohistochemical marker for breast. Take note of the very crisp and diffuse nuclear staining. And also we can see that it is negative in the background macrophages. But it is important to note that GATA3 also stains some lymphocytes. And you can see here the lymphocyte nuclei are lighting up in the background. So with this, uh, the findings are very suggestive of metastatic carcinoma from the breast. And then uh, we would perhaps proceed to do ERPR and HER2 if required by the clinicians.